A larger-than-life character with a successful career as a professional wrestler, Hulk Hogan has a huge following around the world. But when the Gawker website posted a video of him having sex with the wife of his then best friend, a radio shock jock called Bubba the Love Sponge, Hogan says it was a violation of his privacy. In court, under his real name, Terry Bollea, he said he didn't know the consensual encounter had been recorded when it occurred nearly a decade ago at Bubba's home. You asked him face to face whether he filmed you, and he lied, didn't you? He lied more aggressively, more adamantly, because when the video was released, my whole world changed. It flipped my world upside down, and I was desperate to know if he did this, because my whole life had changed. The wrestler's lawyer told the jury Gawker's editors didn't have the common decency to call his client for comment before uploading the video, which was viewed more than seven million times. It was, he said, a case of reckless disregard. The power of the media to do great, great harm and the profits that come from it. And there was nothing more playing this case on Gawker's behalf than that. And it was how much money can we make taking this private act? In their defense, Gawker's editors argued the U.S. Constitution protected the media's right to publish legitimate news stories even when the content was objectionable. They also played down the impact of the video, saying it revealed nothing about Hogan that he hadn't already put in the public domain by his own words and actions. The video Gawker posted is not like a real celebrity sex tape. It's not like Kim Kardashian. It's not in color. Here, nine seconds, nine seconds of sexual activity, dark, rainy video, that's it. But Hogan said his public behaviour as a bombastic wrestling character should not be confused with his real-life persona. It should not rob him of the privacy he expected while in the bedroom of a friend's house. Peter Bowes, BBC News, Los Angeles.